Hi friends, welcome back. Today we will see some problems about what we have seen yet. The first problem 2017 one mark. See how they are giving the number. Moft me number diye ja rahe hain. And if you people will not take that numbers, then what you will do? See the question. Which of the following can be pole zero configuration of a phase like compensator? This is one mark problem. And 2017 gate problem. And three seconds problem. You have to just click the phase leg compensator isn't it wait a minute let me take pen phase leg compensator you know very well the phase leg it's one pole near to origin one zero away to origin your answer is a without any thinking this is lead and this two we did not discuss yet so we we will discuss about that don't worry so this is one that's it. Let's come to the second one. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Okay. Lead compensator is used to reduce settling time. Lead compensator is used to reduce settling time. Yes, we have seen the lead compensator increases the bandwidth, decreases the T rise, decreases the settling time. The system will settle fast. So first one is correct. Second one. Leg compensator is used to reduce the steady state error. Yes, we have seen the leg compensator improves the steady state behavior of the system. How? How it will improve? It will improve by reducing the errors. Definitely this point is correct. The third point is the lead compensator may increase the order of the system. Definitely it will increase the order. Why? Because you are adding poles into the denominator so it may increase the order okay so why it may increase because you are adding zeros also if you are adding poles into the system you are adding zeros also okay but it may increase the order of the system so when you are adding one single pole in the denominator definitely your order will be increased okay now let's come to the next point and that is the leg compensator always stabilize an unstable system no not always yet yes it's going to stabilize leg compensator used to stabilize the system but not always if your order of the system is very high then the leg compensator will not stabilize the system that's why because of this always written over here the leg compensator always stabilized this is incorrect statement okay let's come to the next one this is four mark problem 2012 actually the linked problem gc is s plus a s plus b is given two questions you have the first one is gcs is a lead compensator if the four options and the, in the second question the maximum phase we have to calculate okay so you know very well if they mention this is the lead compensator so if the lead compensator first find out the pole the pole is nothing but minus 1 by b isn't it and this is the pole okay what about zero you have only single zero and that is minus 1 by a okay now you have to plot here if this is the lead compensator your zero should come here so minus 1 by b i'm sorry this is a and minus 1 by b should come here your zero come near to origin your pole should come away from the origin isn't it now now see the values now what will be the relation in between these two definitely a should be greater than b or not tell me i'm sorry about this your pole is not minus 1 by b extremely sorry your pole is minus b your zero is minus a now you will plot here your pole will be minus b and this is minus a okay now we are going to plot it so this is the lead compensator means a zero should come near to the origin here is the zero so it will be here and your b should come where here now if this is the lead compensator what should be the condition 
if this is 3 and this is 1 this is this is okay minus sign because of this negative scale so what is the condition b is greater than a isn't it b should be greater than a or not tell me yes so where is that option 3 is not correct this one is not correct this one is not. only one option you have that is a where b is 2 a is 1 now your transfer function a is the new transfer function where we put the values this is a is plus 1 divide by a is plus 2 now he is asking for the phi max you have to calculate and the phi max for the lead compensator you know very well sine inverse this 1 minus alpha divided by 1 plus alpha now what is this alpha we will compare this with the standard transfer function this is the given transfer function you have now I will compare with the standard transfer function okay and that is 1 plus a tau divided by 1 plus alpha a tau okay so alpha s tau is given you will take two common first it will be 1 plus a s 2 will come out it will be 1 plus a s by 2 okay so here in the numerator the tau is 1 by comparing this two quantity you are getting tau equal to 1 and in the second case here here this alpha tau is nothing but 1 by tau alpha tau is nothing but 1 by 2 tau is 1 alpha is 1 by 2 okay you are absolutely correct the alpha should be less than 1 now put the value sign inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 divide by 1 plus 1 by 2 so it will be sign inverse 1 by 2 divide by uh, it's 3 by 2 it will be like this and okay okay i'm sorry i didn't check it this is the phi max at what frequency is asking he is not asking for the maximum angle he is asking at what frequency you will get the maximum phase okay so i have to remove remove these things so what are the frequencies you have to calculate that one is minus one the first corner frequency one is minus two the second corner frequency now he's asking uh, phi max of the given system at the rate the phi will be maximum when the phi will be maximum at omega max only and we have seen that formula omega 1 omega 2 so this is the frequency where you will get the maximum frequency and maximum phase phi max okay so this is minus 1 into minus 2 so you have root 2 so root 2 radian per second is the answer of this so these are the these are the four marks you have in your hand okay let's come to the next one this is the 15 2 marks problem and a lead compensator network includes a parallel combination of r and c in feed forward path we know very well the the diagram of lead compensator we have seen C this is the lead compensator network you have C and R in the feed forward path parallelly connected okay and if you have instead of this if you have the leg compensator so everything will be changed and this branch will come here the capacitor and register will now connected in series but in the output branch here okay and this will be register so this question came in 2015 related to lead compensator now you may get this one for related to leg compensator okay now i'll come to the question so question says r and c in the parallel combination are in the system let me take the pen if the transfer function of the compensator is this the transfer function is given so value of rc he's asking what is the value of this time constant he's asking let's take it r1 so compensate you have given with the transfer function so how you'll get the answer 
what you will do is here is the system you have you can find out the transfer function for this system isn't it then we'll compare this transfer function with this so we'll get our answer or not okay i'll do it for you don't worry so transfer function of this that is directly i'm writing v0 by vs is nothing but r1 this r1 divide by r1 plus parallel combination of these two terms that is sc 1 by sc for the capacitor into r divide by 1 by sc plus r okay you people will be agree with me i think you know very well how to calculate this okay now so here i solve this question here this thing and what i'm getting at the output the transfer function is like this okay now i have to compare this transfer function with the given transfer function right so so this is in the form of standard format one plus a tau format these are the constant outside so what you will do you will convert this the, the given transfer function into the same format you will take two out so it will become one plus s by tau and you will take four common here so it will become four one plus s by four okay so just now you have your answer in your hand actually this is two isn't it why because now if you will compare this in denominator one plus rc s term is there so this rc value is nothing but 1 by 2 or not so rc is nothing but 1 by 2 and in the question they are asking for the rc so rc is the 0.5 this is your answer so what you did see for this question you have to remember the network of the lead compensator so you can proceed once you will get the transfer function in the given parameter you will compare the transfer function with the given transfer function okay and based on this you are getting the rc value okay now let's come to the get 1998 one mark problem very simple 1 plus 3 tau s 1 plus tau s this is the lead compensator they mentioned maximum phase provided by the system is you know very well the maximum phase formula we have seen is nothing but sin inverse so this is the lead compensator so 1 minus alpha divide by 1 plus alpha okay now the question is what is alpha so what is the standard transfer function for the lead compensator that is 1 plus is tau 1 1 plus alpha tau 1 is okay so the values are given okay so this is the standard transfer function and you have to compare these two things so you can get the alpha see here this 3 type 3t is nothing but tau 1 so tau 1 is nothing but 3t okay one equation the second equation is alpha tau 1 is t only okay whatever is then in the multiplication of s is our point and that is alpha tau 1 should be equal to t keep this value here alpha 3 t is t so alpha is 1 by 3 so your alpha is 1 by 3 you calculate it you have to put this alpha into this equation and you will get your answer okay 1 minus, I am calculating this, 1 minus 1 by 3 divided by 1 plus 1 by 3. So, this is 3, 2 by 3 and this is 4 by 3, finally 1 by 2. So, it, you are getting 30 degree. So, 30 degree is your answer for this question. Okay, friends. So, so this is all about this class. We will meet in the next class with controllers. Okay. So till then take care and bye.